Good morning. I didn't see you there. I just had my Praxis mug and my Praxis hat. So in my last video, uh, I talked about the value of sticking with something, sticking with that first job for a few years. And you know, not only that you learn additional skills, but that that signals to other people that you're somebody who's capable of sticking with something and you're kind of seasoned a little bit. You've got that ability to persist that's really hard for people to to tease out in other ways. So, you know, I wanted to just talk a little more on that and talk about maybe what to do if you feel like you don't have or are not capable of, you know, signaling your persistence by something like, hey, look, I did this for two years. Uh, by the way, this is this is one of the things. So, you know, we talk a lot at Praxis about the fact that you need to understand what college is as a product to be able to make a good decision about whether it's a product worth purchasing. And the product is the signal, right? It signals to employers that you have a certain level of, you know, expected certain level of skill, ability, et cetera. And it signals a couple different things, but one of those is just your ability to do something for four or five years. And seeing that, it's like, okay, well, I don't know a lot about this person, but they did suffer through college for four or five years. So maybe they're not going to jump ship right away, right? That's a, that's a small part of what employers are looking for, but it's a little thing that factors in. And whether it's college or something else, that's one of the things that it matters for certain types of jobs, especially. So what do you do if, I mean, in your first job, you know, the first professional opportunity, especially if you're doing something like Praxis, you're, you're opting out of college altogether and saying, I can build a better signal. You know, how do you send the message that you have persistence? Well, one of the things that we do is a 30 day blog challenge and participants say, I'm gonna blog every single day for 30 days. Now you may say, well, that's only 30 days. It's not so much about the time as it is the difficulty. Doing something, something publicly visible every single day for 30 days is actually really hard, especially writing, blogging. And that gets a little bit at that, hey, look, I committed to do this, I said I would do it, and I did it every day for 30 days. I'm able to stick with something, even when it's not fun, even when it's boring. Or let's say you've jumped around and you have been somebody who's been bored two to three months into every job or whatever, and you've jumped around and you've got you know, all these different experiences that were very short-lived, especially if they're career experiences. Now, I'm gonna be skeptical of that as somebody looking to hire. I'm gonna say, why do they always come and go out of these companies, these jobs every six months or so? That's kind of a red flag. If your signal tells one story, then what you've got to do, if, you, if, if people from the outside say, well, given these sort of objective facts on your resume, I'm going to assume some things, or it's, it's, it's leading me to believe that you're probably maybe somebody who's flighty or can't stick with something, whatever. If that's not true, but your signal says, you know, makes it look that way, you've got to own that narrative up front. That's the best way to deal with that. Doesn't mean that you're gonna for sure, you know, convince people, but if you say, look, I get it, look at my resume. I've had, you know, well, hopefully you don't have a resume. Resumes are total boring, really, really low, low end way to signal your value, but we'll get into that maybe in another video. But your, you know, your, your LinkedIn profile, whatever, your, your pitch deck, if you do something uh, like that. And you say, look, yeah, I've hopped around to jobs, but I have a reason for that. Let me give you, let me give you my story. And not like a justification, but just owning it up front. I mean, it's the same with a low level of skill. Hey, I have no previous experience in this. I'm, I completely own it. That's what makes me so excited. I can't wait to build that experience. Nothing makes me more eager. I'm genuinely interested in it. You know, look, I have hopped around. That's exactly why I'm ready to commit to something. I'm, I'm done exploring, hopping around to different stuff. I thought it would be cooler than it was, you know, and uh, in retrospect, I think I would have been a lot better served to focus on something. And now I'm ready to do that, right? Like if I hear somebody own that narrative and say, there's a reason why it looks this way. And I'm not lying. I'm just going to, you know, I may or may not believe them, but I'm going to be much more likely to be like, okay, when they, when someone comes in and they just don't acknowledge it at all, you kind of wonder, do they even realize how this looks? And you want to just own that kind of thing up front. So if you don't have any really clear way, that's obvious to the outside, to that that signals your ability to stick with something and your persistence through time. 
Think about ways you can build that. You know, think about longer term challenges. Think about even something like running a marathon. I ran a marathon, the training required for that, you know, all the things that require sticking with that commitment. Think about ways to build that, you know, sticking with a job, even if it's a job that's totally like you, you think low of it, you know, don't think low of any job first, but <laughs> something that you don't see is having a bunch of upward potential. You know, you work at a, at a restaurant, fast food or something like that. Even that can be used. Hey, look, I needed to save money. I stuck with it. It was not a fun job. I did it for, you know, but try to build signals. But if you don't have them, get your narrative right. Cre understand like, how is this going to appear to others? And how can I own that up front? And how can I honestly, without lying or fudging, explain, here's who I am. Here's the reason it looks this way. And this is why I, d I think this is actually an asset for me going into this role, not a liability. And uh, sometimes that can, that narrative, if it's truthful, can help people overlook what would otherwise send them signals that they may be a little concerned about. All right. Talk to you on the next video.